babe, w- uh, what the heck? What did you just say? I'm, well, I'm watching some pier runners. They just sounded the horn like five minutes ago. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to be back on the ship five minutes ago. And um, there are some people kind of casually making their way to the ship. Casually? <laughs> well, this one lady seems to be running um, or trotting. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy behind her is looks like he's drinking a banana daiquiri. Um, oh, so he went and stopped and got a banana daiquiri first. Yeah, didn't doesn't really care. Um, and then there's another couple behind them somewhere. Um, I can't see them at the moment, but um, yeah, I don't know if you can see. All right, so uh, you know what? First, before I show them, um, smash the thumbs up button for this. And to be clear, this isn't a video that's making fun of someone's own expense. <laughs> it's more so giving you guys a lesson of how and why it's so important to be at the ship prior to debarkation time. Like when it says be back. You gotta be back. Mama is running. Well, she was, and then she, she she like keeps stopping. Right and there, then, guys. She's then, running. Oh, come on, girl, keep running. You can't just stop. Look, you see the there's a policeman right here. Mm-hmm. He is showing no sympathy. He's like, I'm not gonna try to flag it now. She started running. Now, All right, now the banana daiquiri guy. Banana Shut daiquiri up. man. Should I? You guys want me to swap lenses and try to zoom in a little closer for you? Let me know. Like, it's not too late for me to do that. Let, let me know. You want me to do it? I'll do it. All right, guys. We can barely see him. He's making his way. He's making his way. Am I on your way? No, no, no. You're not in my way, baby. Thanks for asking, though. Mm-hmm. There he is. He started walking. Like, I guess he really thinks Disney's going to wait on him. Maybe maybe it's they're coming from an excursion or something. Ah, uh, there's only two of them. <laughs> I wonder where the other couple went. So the cops down there, they're not saying anything yet. You know, they're not flagging anybody down. I don't think they have any jurisdiction on, like, stopping the ship. Anyone that's educated on that can provide a little bit of insight or an answer in the comment section below. But, yeah, I'm going to swap lenses one more time, babe. Yeah. I don't think they're letting them back on. Letting them <laughs> back. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't look like it. You guys can't see it with this lens, so I swap. I tried to go a little wider, but they've let up the, uh, what's it called? Gangway. The gangway. They've the led gangway. up the gangway across the entire ship down there. And so now um, we're just kind of patiently waiting to see if that gangway comes back out or if we start pulling off and we hopefully don't have to see someone like cruise away without their Disney ship. That would just be super, super sad. That would be sad. You know, like I, I hate seeing it, to be honest with you. That's an awful way to. And actually, you know what? We experienced something. We saw. I'm not gonna say any names, but if you're watching this back, you know, no judgment. We're just gonna say how we saw and how we interpreted your actions. But the person that had a little bit too much to drink, and that was, I'm gonna say, escorting their daughter back on the ship, you, sir, had way too much to drink. It was the opposite. Well, and his the, wife. Well, yes, the daughter was escorting. The, well, yeah, I guess that's true. The daughter was. Eight year, it had to be eight years old. She wasn't older than eight. Yeah, she was definitely wasn't older than ten. Was right. was helping her father back on the ship, and he was absolutely knackered, completely sloshed, wasted. Wherever you're from, whatever like term you use for being completely got smacked with <laughs> liquor, um, he had it. He had it, and so did his wife. It was very embarrassing. Grandma and grandpa were absolutely appalled, and you could tell they had enough of it. I'm filming a list. Actually, let me take this off. One moment, guys. So, this is a a lens filter. What it does is it helps prevent like prevent the amount of light that's shining into here. So now you see this is like super whitewashed, but um, dang, they had a lot to drink. And so the guy, he was like like stumbling, limping. Back, there's a point to this story. He was like limping back and he almost falls off the gangway. And then the poor little girl's like, Dad, no, no. It's like, I was like, this is really bad. I'm like trying to, I don't know what to do at this point, but in my opinion, in my humble, honest opinion, I don't think you should have that much to drink um, around children. And then, you know what? You know what? To each your own. You can roast me in the chat in the comment section if you want. You know what? I'm sharing my opinion. That is my opinion. You, sir, and ma'am, have way too much to drink. Just gonna throw it out there. You know, Alyssa, uh, what was your opinion on that? I thought it was very irresponsible. Okay. All right, so I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm not in the wrong there. No. Uh, guys, you can go ahead and, you know, debate in the chat. I'm all about drinking responsibility, you know, responsible, and yeah, plenty, and I, plenty and of I, companies say it in their commercials, but... 
sure, and I understand it's your vacation and you want to chill, I get it. But if you have to get back to the ship and you have your daughter, who is clearly way too young to be experiencing that, it's probably not very smart. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put this this lens filter on. So if anyone needs one of these, I'll put it in the uh, in the YouTube description where they'll show what type of product this is. I believe this one is the, yeah, Profusion. Profusion. So really good. I'm going to smack this back on for you, but you're going to see how awesome it is in a moment. So it's like little sunglasses for... Your, your, your camera there and you'll see it gets darker and that's how everything looks super cinematic so super bright without sunglasses and everyone that's watching on their television like oh my god I hate this super blown out and then you turn it and everything gets nice and blue so apparently there's a senior frogs billboard here there is no actual senior frogs right here is that what you gathered as well I mean if there was at one point it's not open now it's not open now but we had a Fabulous time with Sunfire Tours today. It was amazing. Super we fun. We went to um, multiple places that we've never been, and it was really fun reliving our our wedding day. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, as much as possible. We weren't like we didn't like redo the whole thing, but it was just nice to see, especially after the hurricane destroyed everything. Hurricane yeah. Irma back in twenty, actually, it was shortly after our wedding, twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Um, but they rebuilt it, and it is beautiful. Yeah. Guys, I have good news here. Gonna okay. gonna pivot back out. We haven't left, and it doesn't appear they're not letting them on. Oh, we have an announcement. Let's we see. We have if... an announcement, but there's also more people coming. There's more pure runners. Thank you, fancy yeah. guests. May I have your attention, yep. please? Here we go. With the following guests, please contact guest services immediately not by board. dialing zero or visiting the desk <laughs> oh. on deck three midship. The Xavier family and the Lisa family. I repeat, with the following guests, please Ooh, contact guest services immediately. in trouble. Immediately by dialing zero or visiting the desk on deck three midship. The Xavier well, family there's and more the people. family. Thank you. There's more. So th that can mean one or two things. They could be notifying the rest of the family, letting them know that the other half of their party will not be joining them for the remainder of the cruise. <laughs> Or let them know, like, could you please contact these people? We're going to give them one more final warning to see how far they are out. Or they somehow got back on without scanning their cards, which we all know that's not a thing. So there's actually another golf cart down here um, where they they had a stroller and they just they're putting the stroller on the golf cart and they're coming in here now. So I bet those are the two families we're waiting for. Probably. I like to think I like to think Disney is a little bit right. I'm going to try to squeak it a little bit more tolerable. <laughs> than others i feel like other cruise lines do not play they're like hey this is a wrap we're out except for um celebrity captain kate i've seen some videos where she's stopped and then she's like playfully scorned oh well <laughs> sure i mean these people are like 10 almost 15 minutes late um i will say the last time we were in st thomas on the symphony yeah. I did see an older couple get turned away i did see that so we were at the other pier and I actually thought, um, so I got on the ship before Cullen. Cullen and um, Fane went to try to fly the drones. And, um, well, they were unable to. And so they got back on the ship before I realized it. But I thought they were still in the parking lot and our horn sounded. And I looked over and um, there were people like running, which was actually not them. Um, but it was an older couple and they had already closed the gates and they wouldn't let them on the ship. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So it it doesn't matter necessarily how late you are, according to some captains. Some they captains, they, like, they just jet. So you know it's funny. I traveled abroad for a little bit, and you guys that if you're watching this video, you're from that country. Please elaborate. But I learned that in Germany, they're really punctual. They prefer that you're on time, yeah. and if you're not on time, you need to provide some sort of update, um, warning, or reason why you were tardy to mm. to yeah to that meeting. Um, I learned in Italy that is culturally and like, like it's acceptable. Like you're 15 minutes late, you're 15 minutes late. And you say like, oh yeah, you know, it was like traffic. I'm like, oh yeah, traffic's, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so both of them were like, when they were talking to us about it, I was like, it's totally a thing. We hate to be late. Germany, um, Italy totally did not care. Hmm. So I That's thought funny. that was really, really, really cool. The how like cultures are like, you know, late and tardy and mm -hmm. on time and stuff like that. So guys, we still haven't moved. Obviously we're giving you the updates. 
a couple golf carts have passed, but I haven't heard the engine turn on. Oh, I think I feel it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I, I mean, I would imagine that they give the time, like typically they give you like an all board time and then you don't leave until like 30 minutes after. And I think it's like a window just in case, mainly for like excursions too. like our excursion yesterday was pretty late. Like we were on the gangway right as the horn was sounding. So, but it was a ship sponsored excursion. Golf cart's coming back with no one on it. So maybe they got on. Well, yeah. That's promising. That's promising. Um, but yesterday, yeah, we were on a ship-sponsored excursion, so they weren't going to leave us regardless. But I think that they kind of give that window just in case something is running late. But that is, like, the best way to guarantee that, you know, the ship isn't going to leave you if you do a ship sponsor. So, guys, we're going to film for a couple more moments, but I wanted to talk about we got fussed at. We today. today yeah we got fussed at um someone who has subscribed to our channel for about two years now expressed lamented that um she feels like this is a wasted opportunity <laughs> in, in regards to us staying in a room vlogging yeah. i promise guys i want to provide some sort of clarity Alyssa and i at this moment that these are not the vlogs these are not the vlogs <laughs> these are not the vlogs i feel like we said that in all of the videos that we've made so far on right. this trip but um if if you're watching, these are not the vlogs. Um, the vlogs will be out later. And the reason we do these one is because we want to make sure that you guys have content every single day and we can kind of do a quick little check in with you guys. But also, um, those vlogs take Colin a very long time to edit. They really do. Um, also the ship Wi-Fi is, um, not that great so well, in, i would say like eight out of ten it's not fast but it gets the job done oh well, no, no no it's fine but my point is if cullen's uploading these oh, massive yeah, videos no, no, no. It, they will never upload yeah so we're providing like little sneak peek things from our trip during the week and then once we get home cullen can do all yeah. these elaborate vlogs yeah the ship has officially started i mean you see any more golf carts coming up no, there are people walking, but um, the Norwegian sky is also, like, pretty close. Mm -hmm. Like, they pulled in in front of us or behind us. Technically behind us. Um, after we had already gotten off the ship, so they could be Norwegian. But we won't know until they start crossing this walkway over here. We, <laughs> we got one Disney cast member down there. It's hard for me to show you. I'll try to... Right there. Right there. So, at least at least he's still out there waiting. He's on one final look. So it, it does appear they let the people on, after all. That's my foot. You're squishing it. It does. It looks like they let them on. Well, well that's good nice. for them. That's nice. So I don't know where I'm going to end this, this behind-the-scenes clip, but as always, if you dig the vibes, please smash the thumbs up button. Um, that's not the phrase. <laughs> that's not phrase. <laughs> well, first of all, if you enjoy these behind-the-scenes <laughs> clips, please consider smashing the thumbs up button. That's what I meant to say. Uh -huh. But as always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. And we'll see you in paradise. Tomorrow. Bye. Oh, there's a golf cart with somebody. All right. All right. All right, guys. You see that? You see that golf cart? No, they're stopping. They work here. They're picking up this dude here. <laughs> All right. No broken hearts. Let me. I, I wish I could talk to you guys live to see if we'll hold off. Because once we start sailing away, you see that one person carrying a banana daiquiri, and they're like, "Hey, <laughs> wait for me!" I sound like Kermit. <laughs> Dreamers, bananas, daiquiris, too much. The cruise ship it left me. <laughs> <laughs> In oh. Saint Thomas, <laughs> Piggy will be mad. All right, I'm done. <laughs> and I will be sad. All right, um, that's for, all right, we're done. We're done, we're done, guys. Smash thumbs up button for that.